I think it was a Quaker meeting for worship that re really drew me to Quakers and something which I really value, being with people in a sense of a gathered silence where words don't matter, but there is something that unites us and that I can sense, that I can take. These may not be the words that people would want to use to refer to God's presence. That's fine for me, but people might define it as a divine presence or something else. But I think it's only, for me anyway, accessible in a Quaker meeting for worship. And it's something that makes Quaker meeting for worship very special. In the late 1990s, I was asked by Stanley Hall, who was then an elder at Luton meeting, if I would begin to attend Luton Council of Faith meetings, which I gladly did. My first meeting there, as I walked through the door to this room full of people, I just instantly felt at home. I think it very often is difficult to stand out, to be the person who asks awkward questions, who keeps business meetings going on stands fundamentally unpopular stands, but I think that they're desperately important. I also think that advices and queries isn't just for Quakers really, it's for the whole world. I like the lack of dogma in Quaker belief.